Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 10 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. And today we are talking about the 3F method for you to integrate in your workday. In fact, those these three Fs are already integrated in your workday, but probably you're not aware of it unless you've heard of this uh, term before. So without further ado, let's go into it. So if you have been researching uh, nutrition science a bit until now, um, probably you know that in the past, uh, like 30, 40 years ago, um, people would call a calorie a calorie, right? And they would say a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. And that would mean a calorie from fat equals to a calorie from protein equals to a calorie from carbohydrates, right? Those are our like macronutrients. But recently, the, the actually not that recently, even, even two decades ago, the, the script started to change. And we have discovered that a calorie is not a calorie, is not a calorie. Why am I talking about calories? Well, basically, I'm, I'm trying to apply that to work. Work is not work, is not work. What do I mean by that? I mean that not all work or not all tasks are created equal. Some tasks require more intellectual effort. Others require more physical effort. Some tasks would require uh, you be more social. And even be, uh, among those tasks, let's say you have an intellectual task going on, you could uh, be engaged in that actively or passively or somewhere in between. Like there, there are hundreds of combinations possible. So it is important to understand the nature of a task so that you can place it correctly in your workday. And by doing that, you can apply the 3F tactic to boost your productivity. What are these three Fs I'm talking about? Well, they stand for focus, flex, free. So focus, flex, and free. Focus work would require you to be completely engaged in something. And in our line of work in academia, this is mostly intellectual work, obviously. Examples, writing, actively reading, taking notes, actively learning something, uh, coming up with lecture content, preparing a presentation maybe, depending what kind of person you are and where you are in terms of preparation. So the idea is that for focus work, you are fully engaged and you give your all. Then we have the flex work, which is more like light. Um, it's less focused, obviously. It's more flexible. And you don't have to be 100% engaged in what you do. What could be an example for this? Admin work. Um, emails, replying to emails. Of course, there, are, there could be emails where you have to be 100% focused to reply. But many of them won't require that much, that much focus or not that long, depending on your personality too and on your language uh, knowledge. Editing a piece of writing that you did before could also be flex work. And then we have free, free time, which basically means the not working time that you have during your working time I know it sounds a bit weird but what I simply mean is those coffee breaks those chats around the water cooler 
taking a, a little walk, like a 15 minute walk in the afternoon, uh, just leaving the office for a while, stretching in front of uh, a window, like getting away from your computer, walking around, saying hi to your colleagues, like those kind of things. Okay. So all of these Fs have obviously a place in our work days, whether we work from home or in the office. So how could the combination of uh, these three could look like? Let's say you start your work day. Let's say you are one of the people in the majority, meaning that your most productive hours are uh, early in the morning. Okay, if that is so, you take the first two hours to do deep work. Let's say you're writing an article and that is your focus time. And after that, two hours of um, intense intellectual activity, you need to take 20 minute break. You take your break, then you come back and you take one hour to do flex work, which could be answering emails or doing some administration. Then you take a 40 minute lunch break or longer, whatever. Uh, fits you and after lunch you come back you do another hour of flex work you do, you continue with the emails you um you schedule something with people you decide on the timing of something could be anything then you take 15 minute break and then you take two more hours of flex work in your agenda you could be editing a piece that you wrote earlier. You could be uh, brainstorming about something. Brainstorming is actually something that needs to be done, not when you're like most alert, but a bit more like, ah, oh, like you can't concentrate uh, completely. But those moments also give you the creativity to do the brainstorming. Anyway, that's a little parenthesis. So those two hours, you do more of the flex work, whatever flex work is for you. Then you take another 30 minutes break and yeah, you, you chat with your colleagues. You take that uh, afternoon coffee if you need to. I don't know if you're one of those people. And then you come back to your office to do one more hour of, let's say, deep work, of focused work, which could be... Um, yeah, coming up with the with the content for a lecture that you are going to give, let's say. So this is just an example of how a day could include different aspects, these three Fs uh, throughout the day, and to be able to utilize these flex, focus, and free time thing you need to know yourself you need to know your body you need to know your patterns of focus and attention so that you can plan around those things for me personally i am not productive right before lunch so i'm already in a time where like i'm getting tired i already did some deep work and i'm i'm ready to yeah do something small get uh, get things off of my to-do list but still I can hang around in the office don't have to go have lunch like immediately and after lunch I'm also a bit like oh I just ate like all the energy of my body is going to digesting things I just ate and then I have to do these lighter tasks but then later on in the day before I leave uh, the office I can give one more push to to do more deep work so that the day after during my flex time I can uh, go review what I did in my deep work session uh, at that time so we have officially completed one third of this 30 days 30 tips series very happy for that if you have been uh finding this 
content useful, please let me know. Please comment under these um, videos telling me what you think, whether it was BS, not worth your while, or whether it, it gave you some good insight. Give me some feedback so that I, I can know what else I can uh, offer you, what else I should be offering you, and yeah, what else you don't need me to talk about. And please subscribe to this channel so that uh, you can be alerted of the new videos coming up. And yeah, if you like the video, please press that like button. See you tomorrow for another tip. And until then, mind your own divisions. Bye-bye.